Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about some inverse properties for logarithms. So by the definition of a logarithm, it follows that the logarithmic function g of x equals log b of x is the inverse of the exponential function f of x equals b to the x power. So therefore, if we know uh, about inverses, right, then we could say if I find the g of the f of x, it should give me x. Or the f of the g of x, once I simplify that, it should simplify just to x, right? We've done previous videos on that in Algebra 2. So if we look here in blue, it says the g of the f of x would be log base b of b to the x would just be x, right? Because log base b of b, that's going to cancel out, okay? And then f of the g of x, we have b times log base b of x is equal to x, right? Once again, b, to the, uh, b times log base of b would cancel out. So essentially, exponential and logarithmic functions undo each other, so they are inverses, okay? So what's the, what's the inverse of a log? An exponential. What's the inverse of an exponential function? A logarithmic function. So let's look at a couple examples here. Uh, first two we're just going to simplify. So we have 10 times log of 8, or 10 to the log of 18. And so now we can write this as 10. And if this is just log, what is the base? Well, that's our common log, so that's a base of 10, right? So log base 10 of 18. And so now we have basically um, what we've created right here, right? So this is going to cancel, and we would be left with just 18 as our solution, okay? Now for number two, notice we have log base 4 of 16 to the x, and so basically we would like for it to look like that. So can I write 16 with a base of 4? Yes, I can, right? So we could write this as log base 4 of 4 squared, right? 4 squared would be the same as 16, but we still have that x right there, okay? So power um, exponent rule there tells me that I could multiply the 2 and the x. So this would be the same as log base 4 of 4 to the 2x. So now we've created log base b of b because my base of my log is 4, my base of my exponential is 4, so those would cancel out, so our answer would just be 2x. All right, so now let's find the inverse of a couple here. So we, we find the inverse the same way, or we start out the same way. We want to switch x and y. So first of all, let's change f of x to y. Now let's switch the roles of x and y. Okay, so now, just to help us see this a little bit better, I'm going to switch the sides here. So I'm going to write this as 11 to the y is equal to the 2x. Now think about how we can rewrite exponentials and logs. So if we remember, I'll just make a note down here at the bottom. If I have log base b of y, equals x, that's the same as b to the x is equal to y, right? So here, basically, with 11 to the y equals x, we could rewrite this as log base 11 of x is equal to y, right? So now let's, let's reverse this again and write it as y equals log base 11 of x, and we have found our inverse, right? y equals log base 11 of x. So these would be our inverse functions right here. All right, number two, we have a natural log. So y equals the ln of x plus six. So we already have y, so let's go ahead and switch the roles of x and y. Now here, um, let's think about, think about what natural log can be written as, okay? This is the same as log base e. So let's just write it as log base e. Let's say we had x equals log base e of y plus six. Now, once again, maybe to help us see it a little bit better, let's rewrite this as log base e of y plus 6 is equal to x, right? So we just put our, our x on the right side. So now we're going basically from logarithmic form to exponential form. So I would say e to the x is equal, e to the x is equal to y plus 6. And remember, we're trying to solve this for y, right? So now we just subtract 6. So we have e to the x minus 6 equals y. And we could write that with y on the left side as y equals e to the x minus 6. And that would be our inverse for y equals ln of x plus 6. Okay? And those are how you can, or that's how uh, you can use some inverse properties for logarithmic functions.